again. This is Stephen Welsh, president of the International Chiropractors Association with my daily message for Thursday, April 23rd. Today, we will continue to look at the science behind the immune system and some of the questionable conclusions we are seeing sensationalized in the news. But first, let me remind you, the COVID virus is serious. And yes, we all need to be cautious. But let's continue that discussion of why, for most of us and our patients, there's absolutely no reason to panic. Yesterday, I opened with a comment about the innate immune system, and we looked at the controversial Stanford study. Today, we're gonna to look at two other studies that I call the Diamond Princess studies. The ones that looked at the passengers isolated on that cruise ship near Japan in February. The closed confines helped the virus to spread. However, the closed environment was an ideal place to study this new virus. On February 5th, in Yokohama, Japan, a cruise ship hosting 3,711 people underwent a two-week quarantine. 634 persons on board tested positive for the virus. Now, of those 634 confirmed cases, only 306 were symptomatic and 328 reported no symptoms at all. In other words, in that closed environment of a cruise ship where there were more asymptomatic cases than symptomatic ones. And as I asked yesterday, how accurate are the statistics if you're only counting the cases that are serious enough to go to the hospital? But let's take a closer look at the numbers by age group. Because you remember it was on March 3rd that the WHO reported a case fatality rate of 3.4%. And isn't that sort of when the panic really started? Well, for the four age groups under 40, the adjusted CFR was no greater than 0.2%. And it looks like the average for the age group under 19 was about 0.1%, which is not very different from the seasonal flu. So I can't help wonder why we've closed down all the schools. I mean, I can still remember when I was a kid and one of us got the measles, all of my siblings did. And not only that, some of the neighbors even sent their kids over too. And this resulted in natural immunity for a lifetime. So I have to wonder whether we are depriving this generation of little ones of an opportunity. But what about the older groups? Of the cruise ship population subset of 3,711, where 634 were infected and 306 had symptoms, seven did die. They were all over age 70. And yes, the estimated CFR did increase with age but it didn't significantly exceed the 3.4% of that WHO estimate until you reach the 70 to the 89 age groups. And even among those two groups, the total asymptomatic cases exceeded those with symptoms. While not proved positive, again, these studies do suggest that the COVID virus may be less deadly than currently being stated, particularly for those under the age of 50. Well, that's my update today. Please be sure to visit the ICA COVID research resource page where you can find a copy of the two reference studies. And I'll be back tomorrow with some additional thoughts on why there's no need for mass panic. Now, meanwhile, don't forget, you are the beacon of hope for your patients. Please remind them there's no need for panic. And also remember, we will get through these challenging times and we will come back stronger than ever, and we will do it by working together. Thank you.